Hello everyone! Today, I'm going to show you how to update your stock levels within the Shipping Easy Inventory Management System on an individual product basis. This video will focus on updating stock levels product by product, but we do have another video that goes over bulk stock updates to adjust every product in your catalog at the same time. You can find the link to that video in the description of this video. So let's start with the easy stuff. There are two ways to update stock levels for individual products, and they both start from the product catalog. To get there, we hover over Inventory on the blue bar at the top and select Products from the drop-down. The first way to update stock is to click on the name or SKU of the product you wish to update. Then click on the Adjust Stock button here. This first way gives you a little more control in how the stock for an individual product gets updated, as it allows you to override with a new stock number, or you can add or subtract a specific number from the existing quantity. This drop-down allows us to switch between override, subtract, and add. If you want to override existing stock levels with a brand new number, leave it on override. If you're receiving additional stock, choose add and then enter the quantity by which you want to increase the existing inventory number. For this example, let's say some stock was returned to the manufacturer as defective, so I'll choose Subtract. Since I returned two golf balls, I'll set the quantity as 2 and enter my reason here. When I hit Submit, my stock is adjusted. If you navigate to the History tab, you'll see a new entry with the reason under the change description. If I wanted to push this new inventory level to my stores right now, I can press the Send to Store button. Otherwise, as long as automatic store updates are turned on in Inventory Management, Shipping Easy will send inventory updates to your store every 10 minutes. See the Set Available Stock at Store video for help enabling automatic store updates to easily sync your inventory levels. Now I'll show you a way to quickly update stock levels for multiple products. While faster, this method does not allow you to list a reason for your change. This process is done on the main product catalog page, so let's go back there. All you need to do is click the current stock level, and that allows us to override it with a new value. Keep in mind, adding or subtracting to or from the total stock number is not available with this method. If you press Tab, it will save the changes for that product and move to the next product. Pressing Enter saves the last change and exits the inventory update process. If we check the history for the product we just updated, we can see the override adjustment as well as the name of the user that made that change. Keep in mind this method is only available for individual products, not bundles. Those must be adjusted by editing the product as we just saw, or one of the other two ways that we go over in our bulk stock updates video, to which you can find the link in the comments of this video. You can find the support article that covers all the methods by clicking Help Center in the bottom right and searching Update Stock. Select the first result. This little square opens it in a new tab. And there you go. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. 